Storms overnight have forced drivers across the area to abandon their cars and flooded roadways. Yes, what do you do if your vehicle got towed? Amy Davis, our consumer expert, has got the answer, the one that a lot of people need this morning. Amy? Yeah, good morning, Haley. Good morning, Owen. If you had to leave it last night because you couldn't make it through high water, what you need to do if you can't find it this morning is call the city or county where your vehicle was last parked. We've got a list of all those phone numbers for you on click2houston.com under the consumer section. Now, if in the city of Houston, and that includes Kingwood, where they had a lot of flooding, this is how it's supposed to work. A tow truck should have only towed vehicles without the owner's consent if they were blocking roadways. Cars left on medians and in the public right-of-ways that are out of traffic's way should still be there when you return this morning. If yours is not, look on HPD's findmytowedcar.com. It can take up to two hours from the time your vehicle is towed to getting this information on the website, but it will direct you to the storage lot keeping your vehicle. Now, it is important to get your vehicle out of that storage lot as quickly as possible. If you get it out within 24 hours, you're looking at about $239 for that tow and storage fee. But every day that you leave it there, those fees can increase. Now, if you have to call a wrecker on your own, say your car is still here, but it, you can't get it to start, you are negotiating those fees on your own. That's a private tow, so be very careful. We are live in Southwest Houston. I'm consumer expert Amy Davis, KPRC, Channel 2 News.